Most phishing emails share commonalities that are identifiable if you know what to look for. While you might feel comfortable deciphering between a legitimate email and one that is actually a scam, remember that it only takes one employee opening a compromised link or attachment form from a phishing operation to be successful. Now, while you might feel comfortable deciphering between a legitimate email and one that's actually a scam, remember it only takes just one employee opening one compromised link or attachment for a phishing operation to be a success. Everyone in your company must be aware of the signs that come with phishing emails. We previously discussed a few tips to avoid phishing emails in our last video, so let's take a look at a few more. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to talk about five more tips for verifying email legitimacy. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Number one, check hyperlinks. Most phishing emails may look normal at first glance, so it's important to not jump the gun on everything. Take a moment and check out any links that may be in the email. But by check out, I don't mean immediately click on them. Instead, try hovering over the links to verify the URL. Note any misspellings in the URL or inconsistencies between that link and the alleged company's website URL. Whatever you're receiving from this company should match their website domain. Number two, be wary of attachments. If you're not expecting an email with an attachment, here is probably one of the most important rules you can follow. Don't open any attachments until you are absolutely sure that they are legitimate. Now, what does that mean? Do your best to reach out to the sender directly to make sure that the email is actually legitimate. An attachment sent by a hacker can contain malware that once you open it, will expose your computer system and your private information, not to mention your company's information as well. Number three, question urgency. There are two psychological tactics that fishers tend to use to lure the victims with, rewards and scare tactics. The urgency of either of these can get users to let down their guard for a moment and consider what they rationally might never do. The email may look like your boss needs you to randomly wire them some money, or maybe you got another email from your old friend the Nigerian prince asking for help again. If the message is pushy, asks for immediate action, or even sounds vaguely threatening, you can have a phishing scam on your hands. So be cautious. Number four, take note of the time and date. The likelihood that your boss is going to ask you to pay an invoice outside of business hours is slim to none. It's not impossible, I'm sure, but for the most part, receiving urgent work emails at 11 p.m. to open an invoice attachment should raise some flags for you that this might be a phishing attempt. So take caution with any work or business-related emails that fall outside of your work hours. Fishers may work in different time zones than you, so their bait could land in your inbox while you're sleeping. Number five, cut out the middleman. When in doubt, just pick up the phone or walk down the hall and ask your coworker, client, or third-party vendor if they did in fact send you something. Chances are that if Phil from accounting is still in the office, he probably didn't send you that I'm stuck in Paris, send me money email. Successful cybersecurity attacks can lead to major consequences such as a loss of revenue, clients, intellectual property, and so on. But remembering these tips and making sure to keep up on annual cybersecurity training can keep you off the hook when it comes to phishing. If you'd like to learn more about phishing, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.